And welcome back to Phone Phenom. It's Medicare season. Let's do some hunting, okay? Here we go. Some more live dials. Let's get them on the phone and rock and roll. Hope you guys are ready. Can you hear that good? I would normally leave a voicemail at least once a day because I get that question a lot. However, for the sake of time today, since I'm just calling through them once as a demonstration in the last dial Welcome session. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The number you dialed has been changed, disconnected. The last time I made dials, um, and that's part of the business, you know, go, go door knock it. Um, last time I made dials, it was almost too easy, but I'm not expecting it to be as easy this time. Because you know with leads and dials, it's like, it's not always exactly the same. So I'm preparing my mind for it not to be that way. Hi, it's Francie. I'm not able to take... And you notice I'm not... I'm not prepping, I'm not thinking through it. I'm, 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 I got my script, I got some notes. I'm not you know, getting coffee and going to the bathroom and all that, like I'm just freaking getting on the phone. I'm also not saying, oh, they're not answering so mornings must be bad. I'm never going to call in the mornings again. I'm, I'm making calls, okay? Hello, this is Chloe Rich L. Packer Rich. We're not available. Dial number Cinco. Your call has been forwarded to. Hello, is it uh, Ashik? Correct. Yes, this is Cody. How are you, sir? Good. Hey, I'm, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new Medicare information. It was something you had did recently. I'm assuming you remember doing that, right? No, I didn't request for anything. Okay. It was under... I already have, I already have Medicare, so... E excellent, excellent. Yeah, it was just about dropping off the new Medicare information. Uh, it, it wasn't about changing anything. Is there a... Uh, are mornings or afternoons typically better? Well, I don't really know right now. I'm leaving town, so I won't be home till next week, uh, Monday or Tuesday. So. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Thank you for sharing that. Um, we're actually not available until Wednesday of next week. Are you still at uh, 6005 North? Uh, what, what it has to do with it, I already have a Medicare, so I don't need anything else. I'm not changing, not doing anything, so I don't need to see I need to talk to anybody about this. I have right. an agent who is taking care of my situation. 
Good, good. And, and, and you're 100% correct. We're, we're not trying to do anything um, that you don't want to do. We're, we're, we just know there's some changes for 2020, and we just want to... I know that. My, my agent told me what changes are and all that, so I'm not changing any of my plans at the moment. Perfect. You must have a great agent. Would you agree? Thank you, yeah. Thank you, sir. N-O. Calling back tomorrow. Just kidding. Hey, you know what they say. Okay, what do they say? Some, some will, some won't, so what? Who's next? Okay. What we do know, which is cool, which is good. What we do know is that Ashik expressed interest in receiving new information. It could have been his wife, who knows, right? But that doesn't mean that even though they expressed interest, that they will always let you help them or that they will always buy. Uh, and in his Your case, in his case, um, most, most of the time, what I found most of the time too is really, really neat. Most of the time, people on Medicare are not taken care of by their agent. And I think you guys would agree with that. However, sometimes, they are, and then it's tougher. So maybe uh, if you want your clients to be like Ashik and protective of you, the agent, then you need to take good care of them. Your call has been forwarded. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. This call cannot be complete. All right, we got a few more. Hello. Hello, Cheryl. Yes. Hey, this is Cody. How are you this morning? Where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm, I'm calling from uh, Springfield, Missouri. I'm calling because you had requested the new Medicare information. I'm, I'm not interested. Okay, who? No bueno. Maybe we can get a few good ones before the rest of this is over. Hello. Hello, Paula. Yes. Hey, this is Cody. How are you this morning? Okay, good. Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request uh, for the new Medicare information. I'm assuming that you remember doing that. Yeah, yeah I did, but I, I don't qualify yet. Okay, absolutely. Uh, are, are you not 65 yet, ma'am? No, I'm not. What month do you turn 65? February. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, you're, you're able to receive information um, within... I said January when I qualify. Actu actually, yeah, I it's, 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 it's up to six months before um, is when you're able to receive information about it. And then depending, mm -hmm. depending on the type of plan, most enroll about 90 days out. Um, okay. All, all we would like to do is drop off that new information so that you have that available. Um, is Mondays or Tuesdays typically better? Yeah. Okay. And is Monday. okay. And is morning or afternoon better for you, Miss Paula? Probably in the afternoon. Okay. Would Later. you, would you yeah. say two or Monday. two or four? No, two is probably good. Two p.m. Okay. And are you still? At Okay, excellent. And I'm actually, and, and is it a house, apartment, or a trailer? House. House, okay. And what color is your house, ma'am? Brown. Brown house. Okay, perfect. And 
Uh, how, how do you typically remember your appointments? Do you write them down or put them in a calendar? What's that? On the calendar. Okay, okay, excellent. Um, if, if, if you want to grab a pen and paper real quick, I can give you a couple notes to keep if you'd like. No, not yet. I didn't want to get up yet. Okay, okay, excellent. Well, we'll what we'll do is... Um, you can call me back and put it on my phone. Perfect. Monday at 2 with Cody. You got it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was good. That was, t that was turning 65 in February, which is really good. The appointment, T65. All right. Kenneth. Hello. Hello, Kenneth. Yes. Hey, this is Cody, sir. Hey, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new Medicare information. I'm assuming that you remember doing that. Uh, yeah, we've already got it switched around. Thanks for calling anyway. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you. This lead literally just came in, what's it, uh, probably oh, 10 days ago, 14 days ago. Okay, I'm calling them late because I wasn't able to get to all of them. And that is a perfect example that if I, if we would have called that lead immediately, okay, we're doing it for dialing demonstration, so it's not as important. But if I would have called that lead immediately, that would have probably been a sell. Okay, so that's good to remember. You'll notice that the amount of time, when they don't answer especially, the amount of time it takes to get through a list like this of 15 or so um, is takes literally no time at all. So when an agent says, well, I don't have time to call leads or I you know, only made 20 calls for the week, it's like, well, what did we work? Like, 30 minutes, you know? Because the only reason my agents don't get in front of more people is that they didn't prospect enough. Hey, you win some, you lose some. Some dial sessions go better than others. Um, this one, I only got a chance to talk to a couple people. 
Um, one was a pretty easy appointment for someone turning 65, which will more than pay for the entire batch because a T65 commission is higher, especially if it's an MA, and renewal commission over six years, 10X is anything I would have paid for these leads on such a small list. Okay, so thanks for watching Phone Phenom. Go call some leads. Oh.